Land use has a huge impact on water quality in a whole variety of ways. One of the ways we're looking into that is how different developments and different ways of treating channels, riparian channels, can affect water quality. So right here we're near the corner of Reno and uh, Petrero Road in Thousand Oaks in Newberry Park. And here you see a traditional um, hardcore, hard engineering approach to dealing with water, which is basically get it out as fast as possible, get it off the landscape as fast as possible. This development here went in in the 70s, and back then the idea was put storm drains, storm drains into larger concrete channels and in larger concrete channels and larger concrete channels, eventually dumping into the Conejo um, River and the Conejo Creek and then into Cayugas Creek and then into the ocean. So if you look here, we have hard walls straight up and down no vegetation right now we've just had about, uh, about three quarters to an inch of rain over the last uh, 12 hours here uh, and it's fairly high right now it's about mm, 20 centimeters deep right now good flow and if you look you can see channel to channel the water is filling everything up and uh, a really um, just picking up whatever is coming from the roadways here and putting it right into the channel in this traditional example. And in this more modern contrasting example, you see we have a so-called soft or green channel. So here we're in a development. Now this development went in in the late 1990s uh, to mid-late 2000s. And uh, here we've used a traditional riparian corridor, left it in place. So that now when we have runoff that's coming off the street here, that's going to go uh, firstly through this vegetation and all this uh, buffering uh, ecosystem before it gets to the channel. The channel itself, which is hard to see right now, the channel itself is a couple meters deep in the middle. This, we're just at the very bottom of it right here. Again, this is only about a mile or so from our last site. But when you have a look at it, um, we still have containment structures. We still have hard engineering structures right here, as you can see, which is going to go to a retention basin over here. But um, the whole, you know, mi a couple miles of this channel is like, um, well, it that isn't like, it actually is a natural channel. So we get all the benefits of the water cleaning, the water filtration, etc. You can see right here that we have a fair amount of, if we look closely at this water, it's not pure white, it's not pure clear. It's picking up the sediments, etc. But it's going to be a lot cleaner than the stuff that's in the other hard cemented channel. So here we see higher oxygen, we see um, just about every metric we can pick. Things are doing better, water quality is better here in this natural buffered channel as opposed to an artificial concrete box.